This week's cool tool is Google Alerts. Now, hopefully you've been using Google Alerts for ages and this will be nothing new to you. And in fact, you can stop the video now and walk away because you already have realised how useful Google Alerts is. But if you're thinking, oh, uh, Google Alerts? I've never even heard of it. Well, maybe you've heard of it, but don't know how to use it. Then this video is especially for you. It does say it's in beta, but I've been using Google Alerts for quite some time now. So it's obviously one of those, it's going to be in beta forever, but it still works wonderfully. And what Google Alerts will do is search for keywords for you and alert you when those keywords are being used online. So Let's say, for example, I mean, this has been really useful recently when I was setting up my brother's site, as I mentioned on the Secret Women's Business Network blog at swbnetwork.com forward slash blog, because I could immediately find out where the conversation was on the keywords that he was targeting, find out what people were talking about and then enter that conversation on social media. I could blog about it and all those sorts of things. But let's do it for the Secret Women's Business Network. Let's say I wanted to track certain keywords for the SWBN so I knew what was being said on certain topics, including, for example, our own name. So if you want to track what people are saying about you or your clients, this is a very easy way to do it. If you sell local marketing consultancy, your clients are going to be very impressed if you pick up all the conversation about them. They won't know how you're doing it, but it is actually very simple to do. And that's doing this. So you go to Google Alerts, google.com forward slash alerts. And I'm just going to type in SWBN. You can choose to have everything or just news, blogs, real time video or discussions. We'll go for everything. How often? Well, it depends what you pick and how you want it delivered. If you want it delivered to your email on a daily basis, then, or if you want it delivered to your email, then I suggest maybe a daily basis. It can get a bit annoying to have multiple emails coming in telling you that somebody has mentioned SWBN, particularly as not all mentions of SWBN will necessarily be my SWBN. So once a day to email is best. I actually prefer to put it in my, take the feed, the news feed or the uh, RSS feed from it and put it into my Google Reader so I can see it any time of the day. It will just update automatically. I can go to my Google Reader and just see what's being said. As it happens for the feed, that's the automatic default. It's the only choice you get. And you can choose how much of it you want. Only the best results or all results. I'm going to go with only the best results because experience has shown that you do get some rubbish and you get a lot of repeated stuff if you put everything. But it's up to you. T test it out both ways because it might be that you are looking for a keyword phrase that isn't used very much. So the more the merrier. And we're going to just click create alert. Now that alert has been created. And as you can see, because I'm in the SWBN account and not my own personal account, it is my first Google alert and it's going into my Google Reader. Now, if I click on that to go to my Google Reader, you can see there Google Alerts SWBN, and it just sends you a standard feeds for Google Alerts message as your first message. I'm gonna mark all as red, but every time I come to here, now in the future, if the SWBN has been mentioned online, then I will see it in my Google Reader. So we can go back and do another one. So let's go back to Google Alerts. And let's say we want to keep an eye on Women's Business Network. Again, I'm going to go for everything. I'm going to go to put it in my feed and I'm going for only the best results. Create the alert. Now I've got two alerts in there. And again, that's going straight to my Google Reader. And if at any time you want to change the kind of thing you're getting, for example, if I click edit there and I decide I want all results 
as it happens, feed, or I could change it back to email. You can just change that there and click save. If you decide you've had enough, then you just tick the box and click delete. And that is just such a simple and easy way to keep track of conversations in your niche, in your market, to do with your business or to do with your clients' businesses across the internet. It brings it all to you instead of you having to constantly go and find it. So check out Google Alerts at google.com slash alerts and check out more of our cool tools at the Secret Women's Business Network at swbnetwork.com forward slash blog.